firewood. How do you like those natural resources holding up my recorder, my cell phone? Welcome everybody. Happy Wednesday. We're getting back into our ELA grade level story called Biblio Burro. Okay. So Biblio means library, burro means donkey. Okay. So donkey library, kind of an interesting uh, name of a story, but it's doing a lot of good things for a lot of people because these people don't have books to read. And the difference between having zero books and having one is a really big difference. It's almost like having a friend. Um, I've always said that, you know, you don't need a hundred friends. My father told me after I finish high school, I'm only going to have maybe five friends. But having one friend is, is a big difference than having zero, all right? So find out people that have the same thing in common with you, like uh, watching Scooby-Doo, and then uh, some common interests. That's a great way to make friends. So back to Luis, heading to El Tormento, okay? And... Uh, one thing about donkeys um, that people always bring up and they always have to deal with is uh, they can be very stubborn. Now, the word stubborn means that you always think that uh, it's kind of like you want to do what you want to do and you're always going to say that you're right. So if you're, if you're saying, if you're pulling the donkey saying, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. And they're saying, no, that's being stubborn. Okay, and you're gonna see that happen. Uh, and donkeys are known for that, to be very uh, driven to do what they wanna do. Um, and then we're gonna see another word bubble from Luis. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, let's check it out. When the sun burns high in the sky, Luis and the burros stop at a stream. And at this stream, they take a cool drink of some water. Uh, a stream is moving water. It's like a small, small river. After they have their fill, Beto balks. Okay, this is a great time. What is balk? It rhymes with walk, but that's about all I know. I've heard of the word baseball. I've heard the word balk used in baseball, and that's when a pitcher pretends he's going to throw it and then he fakes it and he doesn't really throw it well he gets in trouble for that so it's like you're not doing something you're supposed to do let's take a look um, and let's see if we can figure out what the word box means after they have their fill at the river Beto box so just looking at the picture let's use the picture to help us figure out what box means Luis is saying come on let's go you're done drinking does he look like he's hopping over the river, going with Luis? No, he's balking. That means he's not. He's. Uh, that means that he's not willing to go. He had his drink and he wants to keep drinking. I guess I don't know, but he doesn't want to leave. And he's telling Luis he's putting the brakes on, saying, "Oh no, I'm not going anywhere. I like. I want to stay by the water." The Biblio Burro con Okay. He balks. Luis pulls and pulls on Beto's reins. It's like the ropes he's pulling him with. But Beto won't budge. Okay, so he's not moving. That's what balking is. He's not he's not listening. He's not coming. Then in the word bubble, Luis really says something. What does he say? The children are waiting for us. At last, the burro gives in and steps across the stream. So it took some um, convincing. Uh, he didn't want to just run over there and jump over there. So he had to hold on for a while. And that's really important. Okay. The Biblio burro continues on its way. Over the hills. Until at last, Luis sees, what does he see? Houses below. 
the children of El Tormento run to meet him. What do you think, um, how would you describe Luis's journey with the burros? Why do you think he continues? Why does he keep going? Well, because those mountains, you see the hills, they look steep down hills. They're very, very tough. So it must be difficult to move around. Now think about it, he's gonna have books on his back and on the back of the donkeys. They're gonna be holding all this stuff. Now donkeys are known to ca carry things long distances. That They're really good at helping for that. Um, but the, But, it's very difficult to go from one place to another in these mountains because it's a lot of really tough, tough um, landscapes. So I think Lewis is determined to bring books to people that have none. And that's the reason. He's really, really caring for these people. He knows how they must feel. Maybe he didn't have any books when he was little. So that, like, like Debbie and the solar panels, she didn't have electricity. She wanted to give that and see the happiness of everybody else. And I kind of think about uh, the holiday season. Um, Hanukkah and Christmas and Kwanzaa and I think about what happens uh, when someone gives a gift or gets a gift um, it's great getting a gift and being like yeah thank you I love it but believe it or not the person giving the gift is getting more back because they're seeing the happiness and I don't know maybe Luis is kind of like Santa Claus with books on donkeys so instead of reindeer, it's donkeys. Um, and instead of gifts, it's books. But books are a gift. So he's kind of like a, a Santa, on, Santa on a donkey. And that's what you can think about it. But he's very helpful. And he's very caring. And he wants to help other people. And, you know, just like Debbie in her last story, she was very lonely when she went on these trips to faraway places. Imagine him being in the mountains alone with just two donkeys to talk to. He gets very lonely also, I imagine. But he didn't care. But what did he think about? He thought about all the people he'd be helping. Why do the words at last help you understand about Luis's journey? The Biblio Burrow continues on its way over the hills until at last he sees the houses below. So the author chooses the words at last. Why would we say that? Well, let's say you're really, really hungry and then somebody puts down pizza in front of you two hours later, and you say, oh, at last, dinner is here. Don't say that to your mom and dad. But uh, that would be like, finally, meaning that it took a very long time. So the reason you won't say that to your parents is because it sounds like you're complaining. But he had a very long trip, and he's just talking to donkeys, and he says, at last, we made it, finally. Well, I bet you Christopher Columbus said that too when he traveled here on a ship uh, across the ocean. Actually, probably said land ho. But um, the feeling of, of finally getting what you want, finally being there and, and being able to help the people in, your, in these faraway villages that have nobody who really can help them because people may not have the resources or they may not have the ability to go there. Well, he is, and the children are so happy to see some new visitor that they run to meet him. They might not know that he has books. Um, they might just think that um, he's just some visitor and he's lost. But wait until they find out why he's there. How do you think the children will feel when he, and he passes these things out and they get to pick one on their own? What is he gonna, what's the first thing he's gonna do when we get there to El Tormento? Um, so now the setting has changed. It's no longer the jungle. Um, the setting is now El Tormento, which is a town in Columbia. Well, great job, everybody. And uh, keep cracking at it. We're going to be possibly adding another clue very, very soon. And let's just remember that the first clue we added, Luis travels to faraway village to bring books to people. Second clue. He finally reaches the village and he has masks for children to wear while he... I don't know, you gotta tell me. Do a good job, careful listening, and write your second clue. Um, have a great day, everybody. All right, I hope you're having fun reading this story. Biblio Burro, and uh, I'm just gonna say some of the characters' names. Alpha, Beto are the donkey's names. Luis is the main character. Um, 
and then Luis's wife, his name is Deanna. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you Thursday.